Hola population, this is only FIO and we're back with a new video. What's popping today? What are we gonna talk about today? What's happening? What happened in my videos? What happened in one of my videos? We just hit 30,000 views, babies! 30,000 views, I cannot believe it. It's one of my most viral videos. I don't even know if I can say viral, but the most viewed, let's say that, the most viewed videos. And I am so glad it is the camera vlog, guys. Like, you guys just give me so much love, so much support. I got some comments saying that you were feeling like home watching my vlog. So that really, 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 you know, touched me inside. I really appreciate it. Just reading your comments, see how wonderful that vlog was. And I don't know, it just like, you know, melted my heart and I appreciate it so much, guys. So today we're back with a new video. I'm going to react to the Cameroon vlog with some food. And at the end of this video, I'm about to answer couple of questions that people have been wondering in the comment section so I'm really glad to do this and I'm really happy and I'm so hungry I got some food some African food we don't have any Cameroon food in Los Angeles like let's be straight they don't have it here it's only Nigerian and Jamaican food which I like too but just like you know it's different get Gary it looks like this it's basically like a type of fufu, that's it. I love Gary more because that's what we eat the most in Cameroon, I guess. So I really like this one. It's more tasty and I like how thick it is. So that's why I always choose this one and not like the regular fufu. And then we got in this one, it's called um, Eforero. Efo, Eforero soup. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Sorry for all the like Nigerian people that's gonna cross this video. But this is Eforero soup made with Spanish uh, tomatoes. Um, it's very oily and it can be spicy too. Mine is mild spicy, I guess. You can eat it with uh, goat, chicken, beef. Me, I choose mine with beef because I really like uh, all the like vegetables with beef. I feel like it really matches together, you know? Don't forget the little drink. Vita Mild, for all the people that don't know what it is, it's not an alcoholic beverage. Like really not. This is just, um, I don't know exactly what it is made with, but it's very good. It's sweet and I just love it. I don't know, I just love it. I'm doing like a little exception today because I am doing a little water month program, which means that I'm only drinking water for like three months. But today's a special day, you know? 30,000 views on one of my videos, you get to celebrate. So today, it's a... This is... This is a celebration, girl, yes! So let's get into it. Before we start this video, guys, please give a thumbs up if you like this video. Go in the comments, comments whatever you from, whatever you want to comment. I don't know, but I just want you to guys to feel love, to feel like in a positive energy, you know? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little, little button, you know? Hit it! We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Subscribe! Why are you still waiting? Subscribe right now. Now come on, subscribe. Once it's done, we are getting into this video. Let's go. I wanted to show you my guys hair. I miss I my hair to so see much. My family and to spend some time with them. I only stayed for three days, but like I had so much fun. I met another part of my family that I didn't know, and I met my cousin from Russia. It was such a blessed to have her with us. An amazing trip. So yeah, I only stay for three days because at this moment I had school and I live in Los Angeles in the United States. I couldn't stay more than a week and I had to stop in France first and then get to like another flight with my mom, get to Cameroon and we got into like so much trouble. I know it's such like a short amount of time but you'll understand why I stayed only for like this amount of time. This is so good. Oh, I gotta explain to you what happened. 
in the plane. So this was from Los Angeles to Paris. And one of my friends, my closest friend, before I took the plane, she gave me like a little crystal just to like protect myself because you know, I believe all the spirits, all the energy around me. So it's safe for me to try with something that can protect me. I was on the plane, but I just felt like something strange was around me. Like the energy outside and inside was weird. I took the crystal in my hand and started to like fall asleep just to like feel better. There were so many turbulences every hour. I just like fell asleep finally and I woke up because of the turbulences and my crystal just left my hand out of nowhere. I started like searching for it and I couldn't find it. I was really scared. Like I was scared because I was struggling on my own. I was scared because the plane was not going straight and I was scared too because I lost my crystal. So for me it was like, oh my God, something bad is happening. Like I'm not protected anymore. But whatever so that was like really big for me at that moment it doesn't really look like this it just looked like i'm a drama queen being scared of a plane So this moment, I didn't record me going to Paris airport because it was so stressful. I got my tickets from one of my friends. So once I get to Paris, the next day I can take another flight to go to Cameroon, right? What happened is we get to the airport and they just say, this is a fraud ticket. You didn't buy for it. And I was like, yeah, my friend just like gifted it to my mom and me to just go to Cameroon for whatever reason that I'm about to explain at the end of the video. And we almost got arrested at the airport because those tickets were fraud. They were basically paid by another person's card, which is a fraud. Our flight was canceled. The whole day, we had to find another ticket for the next day. The next day flight is it's really expensive. And we had to travel. We had to get there by tomorrow. The next day comes, we get to find some tickets around like maybe 800 euros each. My mom was so pissed. There was one stop in Casablanca for like an hour. It wasn't that bad. That was the first time in Morocco, which was great. Everything was nice, clean. I took another flight from Casablanca to Douala, which is the economic capital of Cameroon. When we get there, everything was fine. And one problem, we didn't have any Cameroon visa because when you go to Cameroon, you need a visa. You usually get before you take the flight, actually. But because my mom knows some people, we got lucky that they let us in, in the country. But if you want to go to Cameroon, you actually need a visa. I talked a lot for that part because I feel like it's really important. It also plays a big role on why I stayed only for three days there. But yeah, let's continue. <laughs> the bumpy roads i read a lot of comments about oh my god the bumpy roads were so funny this is actually uh, a road to go to the village but in like the actual city you don't have like huge bumpy roads like this those people are from a school located in Bonaberry. this was a show only for us my family rented those students to have like a little show, little dance. I didn't know at first, but those are students. The girls with the blue shirts, they're doing like a traditional dances and the yellow shirts are just like, you know, on the temple. This is just a private event and all of them were family. I love that moment. Okay, I gotta explain this moment because you guys were going crazy in the comments saying that oh my god you're such a drama queen there's no water you're going to a village with no equipment first of all we were not supposed to sleep there because where we were in the village was my grandmother's house which 
it's still building there's nothing inside no water no electricity it's an empty house so obviously when you don't know that you're supposed to go to the village and sleep there you don't have all the equipment that you usually need in a daily basis which means water toothbrush soap we didn't have anything not even changing clothes the party that you saw before this moment ended very late from probably 3 or 4 a.m. and it's really hard to like get back to the city with those bumpy roads at night so we had to sleep there we actually slept in the car next day we had to like wash ourselves my cousins and I had to share one bottle <laughs> so this moment actually was very very rough when you see me in the car, that was the next morning after we washed ourselves with water. The little moment that you saw before, so this was very hard for us because it was super, super hot. We didn't eat for like 10 hours and my mom brought us breakfast, but because it was too sunny, it was very, very hot. We ate them, there was like croissant, uh, other breakfast stuff. A few minutes later, we had diarrhea. The three of us got diarrhea. Can you imagine in a village, there's no water, there's no restroom except like for like the portable restroom, you know? So that's kind of rough. It's like sunny like this, hot, your skin gets sticky. That was horrible. That's not horrible, but that was definitely a hard moment to leave. So this moment when um, my aunt is doing the little music and we're just walking around, it's actually a funeral. I didn't really say it in the video, I didn't do it, like I didn't even say it at all, but it was a funeral, my grandmother's passed in France. So we had to like import her body to Cameroon for like a couple of months and then we, the whole family, went to Cameroon for the funeral. This is my grandmother's house. We did the whole event, the whole celebration inside the house. And yeah, this is just like a traditional moment before you actually bury uh, the body. Very beautiful. I, like I cried so much because that was so beautiful. One thing that I don't really like about Cameroon is the corruption. Every time you go somewhere or you're just driving outside, you're gonna see cops or whatever person from the government that can stop you and ask you for money for no reason. Just like block you and say you're not going anywhere, so you gotta pay. But it only block people that look that they have money, right? So that's the only thing that I really don't like with Cameroon. In three days, we probably got stopped like five times and every single time you had to pay even for a funeral before you get to uh the morgue we had to pay the person at the front so it's like a whole process that i really hate about cameroon but the rest of it is just an amazing experience you meet so many people people are nice the food is amazing the food is amazing i'm not gonna lie about this that was such a, like a really good experience and like I said, I haven't gone to Cameroon for like 8 years before this video. And I was supposed to go there uh, for the one year celebration, which is like a traditional thing to do. I don't know if it's like in Cameroon or just in my family, but after you bury someone's body, a year after, you gotta come back and do like a celebration. I don't know why they celebrate death, but whatever. I think that is the end of the video. That's why I'm really, really happy about this video because that meant a lot for me. Just like, you know, vlogging around, showing my country, showing this little moment that I showed you about the funeral of my grandmother. I love her so much. It makes me happy, you know, to see that a lot of people supported this video and we hit 30,000 views. So it's like an honor for me to just like thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments. And I'm just gonna answer to some question. I guess I have like four or five questions that people have been wondering about Cameroon and I'm willing to answer, let's go. The first question is, what occasion was it? It was for my grandmother's funeral. That's why I only stayed for like a really short amount of time and I had to leave in such a rush. I didn't really want to like talk about it in the vlog because I really just wanted to like show the city, the views, the food, all the good things about Cameroon. So next question, 
Are people in Douala commonly such light or is it normal through old Cameroon? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen a lot of light skins there but in this video you see me and my two other cousins because me, I'm from France, one of them is from Netherlands and the other one is from Russia. So people were looking at us like, oh my god, who are they? Why are they light like this? From my experience and from what I've seen so far, they're not a lot of light-skinned people. But I hope I answered that question well. It was kind of tricky. So next question, someone says, you guys seem to not have been informed about the trip to the village. You should go with a towel or face towel and there's always a bucket of water you can use to bath. Ha ha ha. Well, sir, you're right. As I said earlier, we were not supposed to sleep at the village. So next question, what restaurant in Douala did you go to? By the way, cool video. Thank you so much, Sarah, for the comments. And the restaurant I went to was called uh, Chop and Mayo. Really nice one with AC. The food was good. The price can be a little bit up for the people that live in Cameroon, but for the people from the outside, touristic people, that is not expensive at all. I can show you what I ordered right here. It was only three to maybe four euros. So last question, someone asked if it was safe for white people to visit. There's a lot of stuff happening in Cameroon. There is some dark areas as any other countries actually. So I feel like if you really want to like experience the whole country as a white person, I definitely recommend to go with someone that knows the country or you can go with a guy. It will be more safe for white people to go that way. But I don't think that Cameroon is like a dangerous country. Honestly, I don't think so. There are some dark sides and there are some good sides. It's everywhere the same thing. So if you want to go visit, just go. I love Cameroon. I'm really proud of my country and I'm really proud of who I am right now and I'm really proud of my family. I really appreciate you guys for giving me so much love in this video and I hope you like this little reaction. I don't know, I might have talked too much but at least you don't have to listen to all of that. I appreciate all the love again and again. Thank you so much for 30,000 views. Don't forget to subscribe in the bottom here, only FIO. Click it, click. If you haven't followed me on social media, you can follow me on my Instagram that will appear just right here. Bye. I'm gonna enjoy this food. Mwah.